Hey folks, welcome back to Affiliate Retirement. So a couple videos back, a couple train videos back, I mentioned that I got a box of trains from the Antique Fair last spring. This would have been probably March or April. And it was kind of a funny deal. Uh, my buddy and I and the wives, we were at the Antique Fair. See this lady's got a bunch of boxes full of trains. I mean, a bunch. So we take a casual look and it's kind of, a lot of it's kind of on the junky side and we start to move off and she said, hey, you two ain't leaving here without me trains. He's a flyer guy and I, of course, only looked at a Lionel. She had both. So... We went back and did the right thing and looked at some of these bigger boxes. And honestly, like I said, it was kind of a lot of mixed stuff, a lot of kind of junky stuff in there. We kind of both decided it wasn't really worth hauling home hardly. And she says, look, I told you, you're not leaving here without a box of them trains. You can have a box for $20. We said, all right, well, maybe we better look a little more. So we get a look in more, but we're still not really taking one. And she says, look, all right, $10 for a box. And you go ahead and for $10, take as many boxes as you want. Fill up a box, whatever. So we look a little harder and I find this one box. I felt bad about cherry picking the boxes at that point for $10, right? So I find this box, it looks like it's got probably more stuff I'm interested in than the others. And uh, she, I said, all right, I'll take this one here. And I give her the money. She takes my money and she starts filling the box up. And I'm like, hey, look, like I got to carry this, right? And she's like, don't care. That's your problem. And she went ahead and pretty well filled her up. Same with my buddy. So here's what we walked away with, what I had to carry out of there, I should say. This big old box right here. And then she threw this set box on top. And this is last spring, like when the grandsons were born, a guy was kind of busy. It was honestly maybe right before a guy started his YouTube channel. I brought this home. I just put it back in the corner of this building. And honestly, I never thought about it again until the other day when I brought the other trains home. So let's open it up and see what's actually in here. So first off is this set box. Texas special set box, anyway, that she threw on top. And I'm not really into boxes, and this box is, as you can see, not in the best of condition. But right away... We've got the 1055 Texas Special. I'm not mad about that. I'm guessing there's my 10 bucks right there. Like, she's in pretty good shape. I don't see anything broken or anything. A little bit of rust right here in the front. Uh, didn't have the reversing lever there. I don't know if this one's supposed to or not. I'm seeing daylight clear through there. That ain't a good sign. But it's heavy enough. It's got a motor. All right, what else we got in here? We got a caboose. This is the cheaper caboose. No chimney. Uh, actually, uh, pretty late model trucks. Those are like uh, probably, I don't know, I'm going to guess those are maybe 70s trucks. I'm not sure when they switched. These are the trucks I had on my Lionel as a kid. Kind of thing a guy's not really looking for. So we also have these two deals. Load for a gondola. Those two are in there. And lucky day. One curve piece of 027 track. Lucky. All right, let's get that out of the way. Okay, so now I'm starting to see, starting to remember what was interesting me. So 
So we've got the 212 Santa Fe. Um, not in the best shape. She's missing the piece here. You train guys know this. No coupler on the back here. Does have the reverser switch. Um, other than that, not horrible. It'll probably uh, sit on the shelf here in the shop or something, maybe. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. You know, sometimes a guy likes to create the problems first and solve them later, if you know what I mean. All right, so here we got another one. Uh, this one's light enough. There's no motor. So this would be the dummy unit. Uh, again, no coupling. Um, partially broken on this end. Um, again, it's, it's the weight of this. It's got to be a dummy unit. That's a diesels. I have one of the like cheaper version. I don't know if I have it in a previous video or not. Let's see what else. So, got the baby Ruth boxcar. Pretty common, I think. Uh, I know I have several of them. What I don't know, a guy told me a while back, the ones with the brown doors, if I remember right, that that was the one to look for. I'm not sure, because now I believe I have two or three with the brown doors. So maybe he was blowing smoke, I don't know. Um, this does have the earlier trucks that will fill your likes. This is the era that a guy's looking for if we're talking post-war. So that's good, I'll take it. Uh, here we got another caboose. Again, not a fancy one. Um, but this one does have the earlier trucks. So I'm all about that. So this will probably maybe go on a shelf somewhere someday. What else? We got a flat car here. So this is kind of a cool flat car. As flat cars go, um, pretty heavy little guy. I think I got a couple of these. Again, it's got the earlier trucks a guy looks for. Um, shockingly heavy for the uh, size of it. Um, so I'll take that. Good to have a decent flat car here and there. Uh, what else? So we got the automatic refrigerated milk car. Now, I'm not sure if a guy has one of these. I, I think maybe I do. But this one feels a lot heavier. Got the aluminum doors. There's a guy in there. Let's see if I can... I think this opens. Yeah. So, look at that. We got milk cans in there, folks. They're in there. They're... One or two in there, queued up, ready to go. I believe that this is the one that spits the cans out on the little platform. I don't have the platform. But uh, if a guy has one of these, um, I don't know. This one might clean up and be better, maybe. So, yeah, that's, that's good to have. Here we just have a gondola. Nothing special there. Dime a dozen. Got the good trucks, so I'll take it. There's another one. Looks like that's the twin to the last one. Let's see. Oh, looky here. Another another baby Ruth with the uh, brown doors. Yeah, I'm thinking dude didn't know what he's talking about. Probably. I don't know. We'll see. Give me a shout and tell me if there's a rare version of the Baby Ruth. Drop a comment and let a guy know. Um, I never really studied up on them. They just come to me as they come to me in deals just like this, honestly. So here we got a tender. Um, I'm not sure. It's a whistle tender for sure. Got the wiring under it. Um, you know, it's pretty dirty, but it doesn't it doesn't look all tore up. 
Uh, looks like it's relatively complete and the weight of it and the wiring, it's definitely a whistle tender. So that's kind of cool. Don't believe I have a locomotive missing the tender, but you know, you never know that that could change tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So another uh, gondola. Again, these things are dime a dozen. I certainly got a bunch of them. So here's another one. Looks like the twin probably. Oh, this is interesting. Got a Texas special shell. Uh, huh. Interesting. So neither one of these has the cut out for the coupler in the front. Anyway, good looking shell. Good looking shell, so who knows? We don't have another chassis for it. So here we got another milk car. Uh, this is a different version because it's got the plastic doors. So I'm good with that. Oh yeah, the old boy's standing in there. He's standing in there waiting to toss some milk cans out. Uh, oh yeah. Look at there. Milk can. Queued up, ready to go. That's pretty cool. Two versions of the same car in this box. Um, reasonably desirable car, I believe. So that's cool. Um, Oh, yeah, thought I better check the other side. Missing the door. Kind of a bummer. So, looks like we've got another one here. Uh, this is just a regular refrigerator car, and I think this is the one that I have others. Uh, just a plain refrigerator, no guy, no milk cans, no nothing. Missing two doors. You know, I don't have, I'll have to look at that. Maybe I could take a door off of there and put on the other one, maybe. Anyway, that's not a horrible thing to have. Oh. Okay. Check this out. This is the kind of caboose. The guy's already got several of them that he really likes. So, again, I've talked about this before. And it really makes me wonder. So, uh, you guys have told me in the comments before that this is a pre-war caboose that happens to have post-war trucks. And most likely somebody switched them out. I don't know. I don't know anything, guys. Like, I'm not an educated Lionel guy by any stretch. I just buy what I like. These trucks are riveted on there. Guy was pretty patient, did a pretty good job if he uh, switched some trucks out. I guess you guys can't see this one, but this one is the same, riveted on there. Um, so, I don't know. Whoops, bumped my tripod, that's awesome. So, I'm like, you know, I really, the more I see these things, I don't think everybody was switching their stuff out. Yeah, I would agree. Probably some people did switch their trucks out so they could run their pre-war stuff with their post-war stuff. That's the kind of thing that I might do myself back in the day, honestly. But I think this is caboose number four I have, exact same. And I have several other cars I've shown in another video. That video, I think, is called My Favorite Train. Uh, go back and check it out. I think there's way too many of these that I'm coming across. I think Lionel did this at the factory. Uh, my thought process is this is like maybe 1946, right? Maybe they still had some um, pre-war rolling stock that never left the factory before the war got going and they got into war production. Um, and then they designed new trucks during the war. Maybe had some made up. Maybe they got going making them right away before they could get a bunch of cars made. 
I don't know. I'm just guessing. Sounds logical to me. I think they left the factory this way, but I think it was probably 1946 only, maybe early 1947. That was it. Then by then they had they were rolling out the regular plastic post war cars that we all know, like these other box cars here, gondolas. Anyway, too much probably about that. So here's something I never had before. Oh man, this is all busted up. So this is the little runabout bump, you know, reverses itself on these bumpers. Um, never had one of these, but this one's all busted up right here. So I don't know. I don't know if that's a fixable thing. Maybe. I don't know if that's something I would bother to fix. That's the next thing. Not much else. Here's something different. I don't know what this is. So here is another little caboose. Um, I don't see any maker's mark. Hold up. Oh, Japan. It says Japan there. I don't know. It's got like a male guy or something holding a stick out there. Maybe guys duck hunting off the back of the caboose. I don't know. Guessing it's mailman or something. Kind of a neat little caboose, so honestly. A guy doesn't need another thing, but if you guys know what this is, drop a comment, let it fill your note. Because it's a kind of a cool little cheapo kind of car. I'll take that. Whatever. It can sit on the shelf somewhere. So one last thing. Looks like we got a transformer. So a guy don't have a layout. It's got one or two transformers kicking around. Keith's numbers on here. Oh. Somebody from Oregon. Anyway. Got no idea if she works or not. The levers are right there. The red on the top. Um, I'm thinking the direction whistle thing. It doesn't have a post sticking up. It may not work. Anyway, don't really care. I might try it out if I get super bored one day, maybe. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Looks like that's what was in the box. Now I know. Still not sure what I'm going to do with it, but... Ten dollars. Feel like there was ten dollars worth of stuff there. Am I wrong? Drop a comment. Let me know what you think of it. Um, be happy to answer answer any of your questions. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys can tell me more about what I got here because I don't know everything. So drop a comment. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd hate to think you're missing out on this fun. Anyway. Appreciate you watching. You folks have a good day. We'll see you next time on Failure Retirement.